Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. It is Friday, May 27th. Hope everyone's having a nice Memorial Day weekend. So we had us a, uh, a cold, rainy week this week. Uh, we had over five and a half inches of rain here in central Oklahoma, here where I live. And uh, it's been chilly, so not very good weather for mating flights for the queens. But uh, so that's what this video here is going to be about. So the last video you saw me go through uh, 10 hives, I think, that I made splits. And five of them uh, were not successful. There was no queen in there. So uh, queens didn't make it back from the mating flight or whatever happened. There was no queen in there. So uh, I had talked about combining some of those, but what I actually did, uh, I after I shot the video, I went out and I grabbed uh, some brood frames out of hives that were close by and put a brood frame right in the middle of, of those nukes. If it was a four frame in the nuke, I put that brood frame right in the middle of those two frames. And uh, those brood frames had eggs, so they could pull a supersedure queen. Now, one of them actually, it had a lot of eggs, so I notched it uh, with the uh, on-the-spot queen rearing part of that method so they could uh, help them draw those uh, eggs down into uh, supersedure queen cells. So it's been 11 days since I've done that. So we're going to get back in there and check those hives. And also one of the hives that I did the artificial swarm on, so I moved uh, hive 15 queen. She's that green queen that was doing really good for her age. So I moved her to uh, 12 and I checked 12 the same day and she wasn't in there and there was no brood eggs, larva, nothing. So that had gone queenless. I guess when I did that split, she was already done laying. Uh, that, was, that was her last hoorah, I guess, before we did that. But uh, anyway, uh, so let's get in these. Uh, so I actually have six highs we're gonna go through and there five of them are original splits. One was high 15 that uh, had the virgin queen and i said in the video she was a virgin queen but when i edited that video and looked at her she looked really like she was mated to me so we're just going to do a quick peek on 15 and see if she's gone ahead and started laying so 6 12 15 uh, 28 31 32 33 was that last one i did and it was so weak i just pulled those frames and put them into one of those other splits that uh, was ready for more frames. So I just I just shut that one down. So let's get started. Okay, here's high six. And this is a split from number 15 down there. We got activity on the front, which we had before, but it was queenless. We got bees here. Yeah, this looks good. They are nice and chilled out. Uh, that's a good sign. Queenless hives tend to be a little jittery. So this center frame here was the donor frame I put in that had eggs. And if I remember right, this one, I don't think it had a whole lot of eggs. And I wasn't super confident about it, but I went with it. So it's been 11 days and uh we had bad weather so this queen if there's a queen she may not be mated so that's uh basically honey and nectar there all the rain we had i need to look down on the bottom of this box make sure there's not water standing if there is i need to lean it forward now it looks okay down in there so I don't see <clears throat> signs of a queen. Oh, yeah, I do. So we've got actual larva on this, this frame right here, which tells me it may have had a queen before, and I just didn't see her, and she wasn't laying yet. And this is all laid up as well. We have eggs and very young larva. Well, that's good. That brings this hive into the success column. Here's the donor frame. We'll see if we can uh, spot supersedure cells. 
So this is all capped brood here. So the capped brood that was on this before should have been emerged out unless the, it, this was all eggs. And I don't think it was. So uh, I think I may have jumped the gun on this one. And uh, it actually did have a queen. I just didn't spot her. And there's, well, I was going to say there's no supersedure cells, but there's one right here. But seeing that there's eggs in here, I'm going to take that off. Yeah, there's a queen in there, a young queen, undeveloped. So they don't need that. Well, we'll go one more frame, see if we can spot her. Yeah, this is mostly nectar. She's not going to be on here. Well, there's a few. Now that's just light colored pollen. I thought I saw some larvae on here, but there, it's just light colored pollen. It's almost white. Wonder what that would be. And there's nothing but nectar here. Man, well, we'll get out here and leave them alone. I'll peek on these real quick. Don't see her. Maybe she's on this first frame here. Yeah, so man, this is the weirdest thing. I went through this three times and did not see my queen. And this is a queen right hive. She might be on the wall or something, but I, I kind of looked on the wall in there on both sides. Check this end frame as well. So and it's not just the donor frame. There's larva on this frame and this frame. And that wasn't there before. So a queen has been in there and laid quite a bit. Okay, let's get on to number 12. Okay, this number 12 was an artificial swarm from number 15, the green queen we put in here by herself. I checked it the same day that I was checking all my splits and it was queenless. There was uh, absolutely no eggs, larva, brood, cat brood, nothing. So I gave them a brood frame. And I think it's frame number six. This one right here. So again, it's been 11 days. Five of that's been rainy. So if we see a queen, it's probably going to be an unmated queen. There's not many bees on this frame. That's why I didn't pull to look at it. And I haven't smoked them. So if there is a queen, I haven't run her around. So this is a bee bread pollen. <clears throat> Same here. That's uh, basically an empty frame. They act like something's been laying up here. Yeah. So there's been a queen laying here. We've got uh, eggs and milky royal jelly where they're feeding those very young larvae just out of the egg stage. So they have made them a queen. This is all laid up here. I'll try and get a shot of this. Yeah, you can see it pretty good there. See all that light milky color? So there's very young larvae in there. If you get out here towards the edge, you'll probably see eggs. Yeah, I think so. So that queen has been on here recently. She may be on there now, i just not seen her. I find it interesting that they've got a laying queen in 11 days. They may have made a supersedure queen before I gave them that brood frame. Once we get there, we'll look for some supersedure cells. This is all capped here. This may be the donor frame. I do think it's that next one though. And this is just nectar. That appears right here to be a supersedure cell 
that's been chewed off. See right there? So that may be where the queen came from. Because I put in my notes, uh, frame six is the donor. There's another cell right there, but I don't think, I think that's really old. Let's go a couple more frames. Just nectar there. Here's a couple supersedure cells. They're chewed out on the side. So they may have superseded on their own because this is not the frame I put in there. It was this one. That's why we're seeing a laying queen already. Because they were already superseding before I gave them that brood frame. That's my story anyway, and I'm going to stick to it. And my queen spotting today is not very good. Let's get on back over here. We'll look at these real quick. And uh, then we'll get out of here. Yeah, so <clears throat> it's a queen right now, but I can't find that queen for nothing. That is 0 for 2 spotting queens today. All right, uh, I think 15 is where we're headed next. Yes, 15 out of our virgin queen. And we just need to check on her, make sure she's laying okay. Yeah, we're just going to pop this thing off here all at once. Well, it's heavier than it was last time. So they're putting a little bit up there. I'm going to go ahead and smoke these a little. I'm not going to look for this queen. I'm just going to make sure she's here. And this side's all laid up. There she is right there. She's real light colored. Or did she? Yeah. Right there. Finally, the camera decided to focus. Isn't she pretty? She call her Blondie. Might get some honey out of this one. The way that feels. Okay, now we're going to go over to the north end. 28, 31, 32. So we're three for three, queen right. One for three spot in the queens. <laughs> All right, let's see. This one here's 28 on the end of this stand. We got quite a few bees out here on front. Spider web. Let's see, that's a honey super. Again, that's the bee mate. Uh, down in the description of the video, there's a link to where you can uh, buy the plants for that. And I looked it up, they were $5.99, I think. These are very handy. If you gotta like go somewhere in a vehicle, it folds up. It's pretty sturdy, it's made out of one buys. So you gotta make it yourself. I think there was a guy in Oklahoma, it says on the website that he was licensed to sell them if you wanted to buy one that was already built. And he's a guy in Inola, Oklahoma, which is up by Tulsa. His name is Ken Davis, I believe, at the Little Creek Bee Ranch. And he's got a website. He used to make some videos. I used to watch his videos a long time ago. So frame six, right there, has the number 21 on it. They're kind of getting in my face, so I'm going to turn them around. Not going to give them much, because I don't want a queen to run off if she's there. You can see it's not a real strong hive, you know, for having a, a honey super on it. Got us an elm tree growing in here. You know, I should look at every frame since we're looking for a suspected virgin queen. This is frame three. Empty. This is full of nectar and pollen, so they're doing okay as far as uh, survivability on food stores. Which this time of year, it's usually not going to be an issue. So it's, 
it's a uh, late May and uh, we're we've got the nectar flow going on right now we're probably on the downswing so this frames being drawn out but I don't know that they're drawing it out I think that's just the state of that frame when I so I think this is the hive I pulled frames from that last nuke I'd looked at it on my last video that was so weak I just pulled those four frames and put them in here because this had six frames in it only and uh, just took that last hive down rather than give it a brood frame it was just too weak I'd basically would have to pull a whole nother split to make that one survive so and we got capped brood here and this is funny so what this tells me I got cat brood larva and even younger out here to the sides tells me my brood frame I put in here to give them a queen they had a queen before I just didn't spot her and she wasn't laying yet obviously but uh, how many I think I was 18 days out and it was still too early so there's something for you to note learn by my lessons there you think I'd have learned by now this is my ninth year <laughs> but yeah this is solid capped brood here and that's not the donor frame that this is frame five the next one is the one I donated to them that had the eggs so you won't find super seeder cells on this next frame is my prediction because we got us a good laying queen in here and she's the daughter of the wildflower meadows hive there next door so we've got that nice vsh italian bloodline going they're calm bees uh well most of the time they're calm these are a little grumpy here right now but they're pretty chill bees most of the time and they thrive they make decent amounts of honey let's see this was the donor frame one two three yeah this is the one i put in there and i notched it so i don't know what side still not seeing that queen yeah so don't give up on your splits if you don't see a queen give them a little more time I think someone actually left that in a comment on my last video sometimes you will actually they will actually have a queen and you just don't realize it of course with my spotting abilities today uh, you're probably not gonna get to see her <laughs> I don't know this frame here looks pretty good so this is a uh, all cap basically all capped brood clear out to here nice looking pattern boy they're getting in my face pretty good this guardian bee suits earning its keep today you know i really wouldn't expect to see her here because it's she's done with this it's all laid up gonna make a bold prediction she's gonna be on this next frame there's no comb on this frame she ain't gonna be here that next one looks decent come on show me a queen this is all pollen she's not gonna be there there again I did smoke them so she could be on the sidewall well so we know they're good I'm just gonna call that one for four spotting Queens it's not good for uh, video content, but you get the gist. No need to go through it again. They're mad enough. There's a little bit of honey in this one too. Two nukes down here. 31, 32. Okay, 28, 29, 30 is queen, right? 31, 32. That's the one I closed down. There's no, there's no frames in that. So these two right here is what we're going to check. Okay. 
Look how chilled out they are. They don't have a care in the world. Get our first frame out. What's cool is when you pull out one of these first frames on a nuke like this and the queen's laying out there on the first frame because it's so full. Good population. Not today. They are pretty good though. There's bees pretty thick in here. This looks the way they're acting. Like there may be some eggs in there. See how they're kind of covering the frame? Yeah. This is all laid up right in here. Like I showed you before, those milky down in the bottoms of the cells. So yeah, we're queen right here. Laying queen. And that's all capped. This is a donor frame though. This is the one that I brought in from the other hive so that they could make a queen from. And there's some cups here, but they're not cups that have been used and emerged from. Sometimes they tear those cups down so good, uh, it's hard to see. Well, she's I am just terrible queen spotter today. She's not laying on this frame. They're putting pollen and nectar in here. So she shouldn't be there. Wow. I'm usually pretty darn good at spotting queens and not taking a long time. Uh, I just cannot spot her. I looked on the walls. I don't see her. It's kind of hard to see down in there, though. There's a few bees on the walls. Wow. Well, so we know they're queen right, and uh, I just can't find her. You know, but, huh? would she be out on a mating flight? I wouldn't think so after she, she's laying already. I don't know. But there's definitely new laying activity in there. There's young larvae with uh, the milky jelly on them. Let's uh, check this last one. These bees are a little jumpy. I still got those ones on me from Hive 28 there. Two hives ago. So again, the donor hive donor frame is that middle one this is all just empty comb basically a little bit of capped honey at the top good population just that natural comb there's no foundation on this it's just comb they've drawn down and they put drones in here that's the way it was when I put it in this uh, colony that's from last year I think probably from a cutout yeah you can see where I had rubber bands we've got us a super seizure cell right here and there is a larva in it right there so that tells me they didn't have a queen before and they're working on one get you a shot of that right there at the end of my thumb and with the duct tape on it there you can see it so there's a queen larva in there so they wouldn't be doing that if they had a good laying queen in here so we may find on this frame that I donated that had eggs they may have pulled some off of it as well. We'll see. So this was the donor frame. So all that's just went ahead and got capped. Now I'll be darned. <laughs> I see I see signs of a queen. Believe it or not. This is insanity. Yeah, so in this little rainbow open area. 
there are fresh, very young larvae. Go figure. So this was the donor frame. Those larvae are too young to be 11 days old. I mean, if they were 11 days old, they would be very large and I th maybe capped. A uh, worker bee takes uh, 21 days, and they're not anywhere near half developed. Nowhere near. So there's a queen in here. And I won't find her, probably. <laughs> Come on. Give me some. Give me something. Help me out. My audience is going. He must be blind. Good grief. There's a couple queen cups right up here by my thumb. Uh, one's white, but I don't think there's anything in there. No, there's a larva in it. So here's a supersedure queen cup right here with the larva. And this is all laid up here. There is a queen in here, folks. This frame here don't look too bad. As far as possibility having a queen. Yeah, it's mostly capped, honey. She won't be on there. Okay, Jerome B. Farm watchers. I am completely bum-fuzzled. I've never seen anything like this. I am one for six spotting queens. This is a queen right hive. They don't like her, uh, obviously, because they're superseding her. So maybe something happened to her. Uh, but there's, there's evidence of a queen laying within the last few days. I'm not seeing donor frame things from when I put the brood frame in here. That's not what I'm seeing. There's two supersedure cells. Actually three, I think, but one was uh, empty. So they appear to be making another queen. And I don't know why. So all six of these hives were queen right. And we did spot the one blondie queen, so. I'll take that, I guess. So next time I'm in these hives, uh, I'll probably start marking some of these queens once they get good and established, uh, and I, if I can find them. <laughs> oh, boy. So watch these nucleids. Sometimes they warp on you. So they cut, the grain goes this way on this thing, and they cut you shouldn't cut it that way they should cut it where the grain goes this direction so see how warped that is it's it's sticking up probably like a width of a coin and that don't do much to help it but anyway yeah so one for six spotting queens but they're all queen right go figure I don't think there's a queen in here. So but we'll mark it down as queen right. And uh, I'll mark that uh, supersedure cells. Well, that was kind of strange. Uh, for video format, it wasn't the greatest, but uh, you get the gist checking these. Uh, so these were all second chance to get queen right. And looked like most of them had been in the first place and I gave them a brood frame and I probably didn't need to uh, because from the age of the larva in those cells, that queen cannot be from the donor brood frame I put in there 11 days ago. There's just, it's just way too soon. Plus we had a, a whole rainy week. Those queens couldn't have got out and made it and been laying already. So those were from before. So let's see seems like every one of them was that way yeah they were so yeah i just got in a hurry 18 days is in a hurry so y'all remember that so i'm going to end it here 
give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.